guys, this is blocking you from living in your highest timeline. Think about when we're in school, right? This is a part of ourselves that has been suppressed. Think about when we're growing up, when you're in school, and you're told to be quiet, to pay attention, to do your work properly, to not talk to anyone, to be less talkative, to do this, that, and the other. That's what you're told in school. Then in high school, you're told that you must be smart, that you can't, um, you must achieve good grades, that being creative isn't as important as being academically intelligent. That just because you're creative, you're not intelligent. It's looked down upon. You're told to be less goofy, to be less embarrassing, to be not be loud, to not overshare. These are all parts of our personality that we were born with. In a job, we're told to fit a certain criteria that matches what they want in an employee and we further suppress our personality. Then it spills over to our personal life. We go on dates, maybe, we, we find friends and we act professional, we act smart, we act how we think we should, we should act. We're quiet in public, we're not goofy, we only show our true personalities to people that are around us, people that have known us a long time. And as the saying goes, liked by everyone, loved by no one. And why is that? Because we're told to be liked by everyone, that to, oh, you should care what people think, like you can't go out looking like that, like, oh my God, people will look at you. Oh, don't be loud in the streets. What are people gonna think of you, you know? So we're taught to like, be liked by everyone and then therefore we're loved by no one and then we find ourselves isolated and scary and alone. We are always told who we need to be. So when do we have time to be ourselves? Think about it right now. Write down on a piece of paper what you're told to be as a kid, maybe before, maybe in primary school. What are you told to be? Name me something that you were told not to be. A part of your personality that you were told was too outside the social norms. For me, I was always too loud, right? Believe it or not, I was always too loud. And it was embarrassing because I'd talk too loud. I still do talk too loud sometimes. And um, I was told to be less silly, shall we say. I was told to not play with my hair in school by some teachers, that it was bad to fidget. And thinking about it now, those are the parts of my personality I'm still trying to heal because I was told to repress those parts of my personality. But you know what? Those are the parts of the personality that make me who I am, right? Those are the parts of my personality that make me Charlotte. Those are the parts that make me a unique person. What are the parts of your personality that you were told to suppress because they were too outside of the norm, but that is actually what makes you unique. That is actually what makes you different. So now, because you're not that part of you, you hide these little quirks, these unique features about you, you could have met so many people before and they could have been the bestest of friends with you but because you haven't shown your true self to them or they haven't shown their true self to you there's a missed connection there if you want to achieve the life that you want to achieve how are you going to know what life you want to achieve if you're hiding behind a fake personality all the time how do you even know what you want if you don't even know who you are how are people ever gonna like you for you if you're never showing you for you? It's never going to happen. We want a life of freedom and abundance and we wanna get paid to exist, but we're not even being who we even are truly. How are we gonna get paid for being us if we're not even us? How are we gonna get paid to exist and live our true passive princess life if we don't even know what we wanna do? We don't even know what we love because we haven't even tried it because we're told not to do this and this is weird and that's strange and don't do this, don't do that. Oh, you should do this. You should get this job. You should be a lawyer. You should be a doctor. And therefore you don't follow your hobbies. You don't play weird games because you think it's weird and you don't want to tell anyone about it, right? 
imagine the amount of frequencies and the amount of energy that you are using by masking yourself every single day imagine right everyone's had one of these friends that you feel like you can't be yourself around because you steal the show or you steal the attention right so you're purposely dimming your shine and your sparkle to be on the same level as them so that they don't feel bad about themselves you're purposely masking your energy for instance me personally I'm a very bubbly and outgoing person. I talk a lot. I can be very loud and that puts some people off maybe, but I've been taught to not be like that with some people in my life because then I'm like outshining them. But guys, the amount of energy I've wasted by masking myself on other people that I'm literally using my energy on their insecurities, right? You should never mask your shine and your unique self in order to enhance someone else's presence, right? If they can't handle your presence, then they don't deserve your presence. That's it, literally. If they can't handle your presence, they don't deserve it. So when you start cutting out these people in your life, when you start cutting out these things, it's gonna take a while, don't get me wrong, right? I don't know, who knows? You could cut them off today if you really wanted to. It's a limiting belief if you think it's gonna take time because time is an illusion. Time is not real. Everything is in the terms of energy and frequency, as Nikola Tesla said. You could cut them out tonight and they would never even know. You could stop messaging them. They would probably be wondering why and then they'd get over it. If you wanna do it in a good way and give them some dignity, tell them that you don't wanna message them again. Tell them you're moving on. I don't know, tell them with move country, I don't even know. Come up with some excuse anyways, or just be straight with them, I don't really care. But those kind of people are literally blocking you from achieving your higher self. How are you gonna ever achieve your higher self when you're literally dimming your sparkle already in the current reality you're in? How are you ever gonna achieve your highest desired reality, your highest desired self, when you're suppressing the version of you that is already down here? How are you gonna get up here when you're already dimming yourself down here? You're not even like expressing yourself fully. So how are you gonna be fully expressed and achieve your highest self who is fully expressed when you haven't even realized that you're not being fully expressed? There is a lot of shadow work that you need to be doing guys alongside manifesting. Everyone thinks that you should just be manifesting, affirming and visualizing all day, every day but none of us realize the amount of shadow work we actually need to be doing because when we take a deep dive into ourselves, we actually realize. Okay, so my camera's internal temperature apparently is too high again. This is becoming a common issue with my G7X. It's literally not even in the window, but we're gonna finish this video on my phone anyways. So all of the answers are in ourselves, right? All of the answers that we ever need are always within ourselves instead of looking outside to manifest something we should also be equally looking inside at ourselves because all of the answers are inside of us and there's so many things that you could be manifesting and looking on the outside world for answers on googling for example oh my god why isn't my manifestation here why isn't this person texting me when you could be fine when you could be sat there meditating looking inside of yourself has asking your higher self for questions on guidance asking for guidance you could be looking inside of yourself and using that time more productively when you will receive and you'll receive the answers instantly and they will be more true you're not going to get loads of jargon loads of other life stories online loads of i don't know rubbish advice from people that haven't been down your path when you could just be sat there looking for the answers inside of you where the answers actually are because the likelihood is is that we need to be doing shadow work that's literally it if you think that like um you're thinking oh i need i want to achieve my highest timeline but i can't i don't feel confident in myself how am i gonna achieve my higher self if i don't even feel confident in myself right so then we're manifesting confidence and we're like listening to subliminals online Oh, confidence subliminals. Oh yeah, I feel a bit better now. I've done some affirmations for confidence. I feel a bit better now. But inside of you, you're still masking all of these reasons. 
that are making you unconfident. For example, you was told to be quiet as a kid. You was told that you're weird as a kid. You was told that your acne was ugly when you was a teenager. That is why your confidence is so low right now. Nothing can heal that until you look deeper inside of you and you wonder why, where you get triggered. Maybe you look at other people and you think, oh, that person's got like some ugly hair. <laughs> I don't know. Or, oh, that person doesn't have nice eyes. Like that tells you where you need to be doing the healing. Girl, literally that is telling you where you need to be doing the healing. You need to be looking at yourself, not other people. Literally lock yourself in a room for months, six months, three months. Lock yourself in a room and do some healing. Do not go outside. I mean, I don't literally mean go outside, but lock yourself in a room until you've done the healing. Then when you start doing your big manifestations when you start um truly truly you're fully healed fully confident you're ready you've healed yourself then everything will fall into place in divine timing everything will just work you will manifest instantly effortlessly you know the only reason why you don't manifest something easily the next second the next day is because of our belief system because of where all of our energy is poured into everyone else around us what they think what mum thinks what my job my boss thinks oh what so and so thinks of my car how am i looking when mr amazon man comes to my door like oh my god guys this is why we're drained this is why you get home from work and you don't want to do the manifestation work because you're too lazy and you're too drained it's time to cut some stuff out of our lives guys and start working on ourselves that was my message for today anyways um yeah like it's <laughs> sometimes i want to just do manifestation videos and then other times i'm like no i've got something to say like i want to help people on a deeper level as well as manifesting but this is something that is blocking so many people from manifesting and they don't even realize it we need to be doing shadow work guys we need to be healing our triggers we need to be looking at our childhood we need to be thinking who we are told not to be because that is exactly who we need to be a lot of the time our friends will say don't be this don't be that and it's because they're afraid to be the person that you are you're showing them something that they don't like in themselves or they can't fully express in themselves that's why they're telling you not to be this right it's always the pretty people that get picked on in school right it's always the people that get the most attention they get picked on by the boys and then the girls get jealous of them and then they think that they're ugly and they're the problem and it's it's just everyone else's triggers showing up in your life and then you think you're the problem and then you grow up and you're not confident and you don't like your braces and you don't like your skin even though it's not perfect you don't like yourself and you pick apart yourself because everyone else has picked apart a certain part of you in your in your life that is why and this is what's blocking our manifestations. So um, I hope that resonated with you and I hope it helped you. Um, if you wanna work with me, I'm just conjuring up the coaching packages right now. But that's it for today. Um, I'm going to um, probably film another video after this because I've got a lot to say. And um, I'm just gonna say it. No one even knows about my YouTube, but I'm just gonna say it anyways because I'm being myself. And um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.